Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. Welcome to Corinth. Corinth was a Greek city that was founded in antiquity and later became part of the Roman Empire and is now the location of a lot of ruins. And here we have a tourist trap where people are invited to come and stare at the stars through a telescope. And so here we have our purple snake, who is our recurring symbol for gram-positive rods. C. diphtheria is a gram-positive rod. And here is our Roman here that is running the tourist site. And this guy is bringing his girlfriend to Corinth to stare at the stars. And notice that they are lovers and he is carrying a club, and that's because C. diphtheria is club-shaped. She's wearing a polka dot dress, and that's to remind you that this bacteria displays metachromatic granules, and they're yellow and green on Albert Stain. Because they're lovers, it will remind you that it grows on Leffler's medium. And here we have an animal who decided to come and take part in the stargazing. And what kind of animal is this? This is an elk. And notice he's got this greenish glow to him. And the greenish glow is toxic, and it's looking for the toxin. Elk stands for ELEC. And the ELEC test will be positive when the C. diphtheria strain is capable of toxigenicity. The black telescope here for looking at the stars is for telluride medium. Telescope, telluride. Telluride medium grows black colonies, black like the telescope. So here you see a sign saying Corinth, entrance free to lovers all day pass. Entrance free to lovers is EF2, elongation factor 2. All day pass is ADP. ADP ribosylation of EF2 is how the diphtheria toxin works. And our Roman here is draped with a gray tunic, and that's to remind you that diphtheria includes a pseudomembrane, a gray pseudomembrane, which forms on the pharynx. And what is the constellation that the telescope is pointed at? It's the constellation of Taurus, which is a bull. And that's to remind you that diphtheria is associated with a bull neck, a swelling of the neck, along with cervical lymphadenopathy. Notice that our lovers here are kissing each other, and there's these little hearts coming off because they're in love. The heart will remind you that diphtheria can cause myocarditis and arrhythmia. And here we've got a guy that is not feeling too well after his trip to Corinth, and he's sneezing and coughing. And that will help you remember that this is spread by respiratory droplets, and it also causes a croup-like cough. And now, after all this stargazing, we have this UFO that decided to show up. And the UFO has these purple pencil antennas to remind you that penicillin is the treatment along with this antibody, which is for antitoxin, because that's really what antitoxins are, are antibodies that bind the toxin. So the treatment is penicillin plus antitoxin. And we see a syringe here, and that is to remind you that this can be pre prevented by vaccination through the DTaP vaccine.